One of the things you can do with Autoplay Media Studio is load and run external script files. These are Lua files and they basically just contain code that you want to be executed within your project. So let's take a look at how we can do this. You'll notice that in the gallery there's a little button here that says scriptlets and if you go in there you'll see these various scriptlets here and we can go through and actually open these up in a text editor. For example, here's the hello world scriptlet. Let's go ahead and run that. As you can see it's right here, hello world.lua. Um, basically, if we look back here, all it is is a dialogue message action that says every day I wake and say hello world. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at how we would run that. Double click on our page and in the on show event we'll click on the action wizard and we'll choose the application family and as you can see here there's a couple of different options pertaining to the script. There's the load script and the run script file actions. In this particular case we're just going to use the run script file. So we'll go ahead and double click on that and then we'll just go ahead and point in our gallery to our hello world script press finish OK and then press F5 to preview there we go as you can see we get a dialogue message that says every day we can say hello world so even though our project doesn't contain any code at all it went ahead and ran that external script file so you can go ahead and create code and store them as blocks, for example, as different files, and then go ahead and execute them as needed. It's a very handy way to do things. Um, it's also a very dynamic way of doing things. If we take a look at a different uh, script from our gallery, and this is the delimited string to table script, so if you look in the gallery, that's located right here, delimited string functions, Lua. Uh, we can take a look, and you can see it's quite complex, or at least a lot more complex than the Hello World script. and that's included in your application and you can use this to work with delimited strings. So that's a, a pretty handy function as you can see it's handy the way that it's stored. You didn't actually have to make it part of your project but if you need it it's there. So there's a few different reasons that you would use external script files. Uh, one reason would be if you were handling dynamic data or wanting to run different blocks of code dynamically and another different reason would be if you enjoy editing, for example, certain scripts in a text editor where you have the large screen uh, text formatting of your choice. The, te the action editor in Autoplay Media Studio is actually quite good and you have also a bunch of options here. If you go to the editor settings in the advanced options you'll see you can control colors and whatnot. But of course it's never going to be as complete as a standalone text editor. So by creating Lua files in your text editor you're actually um, able to work in your familiar environment and work with the tools that you're used to working with for text. So there's a couple, those are a couple of the different reasons you would want to use external Lua files. And also, it's a great way to share code with other people too. So, for example, if you're going to be sharing uh, code to be used in Autoplay Media Studio project um, and you store it in a Lua file, that's just a couple K. You can send that in an email and it's just a tiny little file, a lot smaller than sharing an entire Autoplay Media Studio project or export, exported project file. So that's using external scripts in Autoplay Media Studio. Let's go on to the next video tutorial.